How to generate images with AI is something that everybody should know, no matter what their use case is. Midjourney V5 and Dolly 2 are currently the top two ways to use text to image generation with AI. In this video, you will learn how to use and master both of these AI generation tools, and you may also get an idea of which one you would prefer, as we're going to be plugging this prompt into both generators to see what they come up with individually. The first one we're going to be looking at is Midjourney. Midjourney has been breaking grounds as it was just released and already has over 14 million active users. To gain access to Midjourney AI, you're going to go to midjourney.com. And once you're there, you're going to click join the beta on the bottom right hand of the screen. That is going to take you to their Discord server. And in order to use the Midjourney AI image generator, you must have Discord installed and an account. It's completely free though. Once inside of the Discord server for Midjourney AI v five, you will notice this screen. Now you'll have to accept their terms of service, but that's a simple click of a button. What we're going to do is go to one of these newcomer rooms that you see on the bottom left of the server. Let's go ahead and just go to this middle one, newbies 18. Now in order to use mid journey, you must give it an initial prompt. And that prompt is going to be backslash imagine Imagine not having dyslexia and then prompt that will generate for you now once inside of this prompt window You can insert your prompt like I said, we're gonna be feeding both mid journey and Dolly the same exact prompt to see what they generate simply click enter and it will begin generating your image now mid journey you get 25 generations completely free and then you can opt for what they call a pro plan which gives you your own private server inside of mid journey and I believe that's around ten dollars a month. I however have been using it for free with absolutely no issues. So let's go ahead and see what mid journey generates. So about a minute later and we have our generation right here and you'll notice there's a line of U, V and then a recycle symbol. We're going to cover all three of those really quickly. The U basically stands for upscaling. Going from top left to top right, bottom left to bottom right, we have version 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now if we particularly like a specific one of these we can choose to upscale one of them now we are using the aspect ratio of 16 by 9 which means these are perfectly adequate for YouTube thumbnails and if you want a full tutorial on aspect ratios and over 600 prompts that video will be linked right at the end of this one so the U stands for upscale we can choose our favorite image upscale it to the correct size and definition and then use it right below that we have V and this stands for variance following the same one to four pattern we can choose to make variants of a specific model so let's say we like version 3 the best let's go ahead and make variants of version 3 by clicking on v3 and letting mid journey generate that now if we want to regenerate the entire original prompt itself we would simply click this recycle button and here is the result that we have, making variations of number three. You can see we have four separate images that all follow the same guidelines and style that variant three was in. From this point with Mid Journey, we can choose to upscale and then use one of these for our own personal uses, or we can completely redo the prompt. But let's head over to our second option, which is Dolly 2. Now, I already know that I'm gonna get the question. Microsoft has their own generator as well through Bing, and that is at bing.com slash create. Why am I not talking about that? Well, the reason for that is Microsoft Bing uses Dolly, and we're gonna be talking about Dolly 2, the updated version of Dolly, right now. The access to Dolly 2 is gonna be linked in the description of this video, because you'd have to go to openai.com backslash product backslash doll slash e slash two, and that's just a mouthful and a lot to type out, so you can find that link right down below. Now, unlike Mid Journey, Dolly 2 actually gives you 50 free generations before you have to opt in for any trial period or pro account. But by following that link to OpenAI, we see that there is a big try Dolly button right there. So go ahead and click on that and you will have to create a free account. You can see mine already logged me in and then we can go ahead and slap that guy right in there. Now I'm gonna take out this aspect ratio because that is something that I have not messed with on Dolly 2. But we'll go ahead and click generate and see what it comes up. Now Mid Journey, much like Dolly 2, they will both give you four variations of whatever prompt you give it. 
And, well, sometimes this happens where the server is overloaded because there's millions of prompts every single minute. So we'll be right back when it is open. All right, in about a minute, minute and a half later, you can see the server is open and we have our four variations of the prompt we told the AI generator to, well, generate. Personally, I like Midjourney V5 better than Dolly 2 when it comes to text-to-image AI generation, but they both have a lot of the same features. With this, you can also choose to either edit the image, generate variations, or download it. Much like Midjourney with your upscaling and variations, this has the same thing. If you want to upscale it, you can either download it or edit it into a higher resolution or add different objects, and with the generate variations, variations, you will get four new image generations that are based on that one variant you selected.